going to quickly show you how to add uh, video effects to uh, to scenes and clips in Scenerella. Uh, so I had this project from the first tutorial that I was working on. Uh, if I go up here to video effects, you can see that there's a number of effects you can add. Uh, I'm going to just choose uh, hue and saturation. Uh, and if you notice, you can drag it down to an individual clip and you can see it adds the bar under there for that clip. If you change your mind, you can right click it and say detach and it removes it. Or if you drag it to the beginning of a track, like so, it'll add it to the whole track. Now uh, you can see what the hue and saturation looks like right now, the settings. If you hit this uh, little um, magnifying glass, it gives you the settings for it so you can move all these around and change how the video looks. And uh, so once again, that's affecting this track. So if we go over here, you can see it's not affecting that second track. Um, but what, we, what we're going to do now is going to show you how to use keyframes. Uh, I'm going to select this little key right here and you can see now it's lit up orange. Now you'll notice when I move this, it adds a little key uh, icon to the track right there. And now I can move the bar, my little timeline bar somewhere else and I can move the hue over this way. And if I go over here, I can now move the saturation this way, I can move the value up. And you can see it created another little key frame right there. So now that I'm creating all these different key frames, um, you'll notice that instead of being one solid color or one steady color, uh, it changes as we go from one key frame to another. And so that's uh, quickly how you add uh, hue. Um, you uh, notice while you're playing it lots of times, color. adding uh, effects like that the playback is slow. Uh, so what you can do is you can check this little box here which turns off the effect uh, until you're ready to render and then you can turn it back on. Uh, once again if you want to remove it you just detach it. And uh, there are plenty of effects in here that you can play with. Some give you options that you can uh, edit them as we did with the hues. Like we can uh, add rotation here and I can rotate this image all around, move the pivotal point, uh, and play with it like that. And obviously I still have keyframes selected, so when you not, don't want the keyframe select, be sure to turn it off or it's going to add one. Uh, but if I want to make that video spin, I can do that. And now that I have two keyframes as we play the video, the video will spin. Um, but uh, let me try to think, I think uh, trying to think of one that doesn't give you options. Let's see if this dot TV gives you options. Um, so if I hit the magnifying glass, see, just tells you that there's a copyright on it. doesn't give you any options. So you can't change the size of those dots. I wish you could uh, do a little more with some of these effects like that. Um, but that's how you add effects uh, to Scenerella. Also, um, now I'm going to uh, turn this on. What I'm going to do is since I have all these selected, I can highlight here and hit delete. And it moves all the tracks so it keeps everything in sync. Um, and I'm going to add an audio transition. So here I can drag down. And you can see right here we have a little audio transition box. And if I right click that, you can see by default it's set to, well I have it set to one second. I don't remember what the default default is. But if you click on that, you can change it to whatever time length you want. Um, Weird thing about scene rel, it doesn't let you use the number pad, which I like to use. Uh, you have to use the numbers on the top row of your keyboard. I'm going to say 0.5, so it's a half a second fade, or cross fade, uh, for the audio. And now, if we add another one, you'll see it remembers the last thing you put in. So from now on, every time we add a cross fade for audio, it's going to be at uh, one or a half a second until you change that again, and it will remember whatever it is you change there. Now we're going to go to video transitions. You have a few options. Um, we can pull dissolve down here. It's set to a half a second already. You can change that if you wanted. Um, you can also right click on that and detach it if you change your mind you don't want it. Uh, and I believe you can grab, yes, you can grab and uh, if you change this, your mind on what transition you want, if you grab it and you can drop another one over top of it and so, 
Yeah. Thing that I could do. Uh, video editing. There you go. So we had that little uh, transition where it slid in well, from the side do, there. Thing that I could do. Uh, video editing in Windows. So those are uh, how you add effects and transitions uh, to your timeline. I'm going to save that save the project, it saves it as an XML file and uh, I'm going to overwrite that one, yes, and then you can render it if you'd like. So once again simple things just showing you the ins and outs on how things work. Uh, hope you enjoyed and keep watching for more. Visit filmsbychris.com for more tutorials and videos.